Gonna include Miss Arena Hewlin. I think a number of players like Cup is gonna be here. Poker Monkey's gonna be here. DFS Bra uh, Brett may be here. I'm not sure. Tammy's gonna be here. Contingent on how I if if I if I decide to play tomorrow, um, and I don't bag, I will obviously be here on Sunday. But if I bag, unfortunately, or depends how you look at it. Fortunately, it's both fortunately and unfortunately that I won't be here. But here we go with Kim on the button, gonna three bet sixes. She min clicks it, which is which is hilarious. <laughs> I mean, you made a thirty-five, and she three bets the sixty. Interesting. And, and <laughs> I'm not sure what the thought process is here, but let's go with it. Maybe and, she's uh, trying to be balanced. <laughs> we talk about balance. Maybe, and maybe it was a misclick. It might have been a misclick. Because if she wanted to call the 35 and she threw in an extra green chip, oh, he's going to come in bigger here. Yeah, he's he looks like he wants to punish this. And uh, let's see if uh, let's see if Kim can see through this. Now, for the record, LC sat down at my table and I bluffed him and I showed him the bluff earlier. You did? Yeah, you I bluffed. bluffed OFC? Yeah. Oh, he's a hard man to bluff. He's got the shades on tonight, rocking the shades. He flopped middle pair and I flopped she, open ender, then I turned bottom pair and she, I was still open ender. Yeah, she must have misclicked. Um, just because she's not, you know, prepared for this. And if she did misclick and OFC knows it, she. She knows that OFC can take advantage in this situation. She does call. She's like, I don't believe you, OFC. And she has him in very, very bad shape here. A lot of the fours and the fives were out. I saw, I think yeah. Dwayne had. But no, unfortunately for her, she really needs to hope that this board doesn't come with high cards. Because right. if it does, it's going to be hard for her to continue. Well, this is a really good board for Kim. Yeah, it's a good board for her. It's it's good board for her range. She's yeah. going to have a lot of hands that connect with this flop. 10-9 uh, deuce. And... OFC knows that, so he might just, he might just, yeah, he's just giving up here. Um, and it's a tough spot, too, for Kim. Like, she does check back, and um, she really needs to hope that, okay, that's a good turn card for her. It gives her a straight draw. Um, OFC, I don't think, is going to bluff this card. He's probably just going to continue waving the white flag. And um, we'll see what Kim does here on the turn if check two. OFC does bet. Very interesting. 80% pot. It's pretty big sizing. Yeah. Especially after checking the flop. It is a good board for him to check flop on. He does know this is a, a, a flop that favors her range here. Yeah. She makes the call. Good, I mean, With the yellow birds. She re yeah, she reads it correctly. And the ace river is, is very, very dangerous for her. Um... It's going to make it really tough for her to call here. Um, and I think this is a card that OFC is definitely going to try to represent. Um, it's I don't think Kim is going to have a lot of aces. I think he's probably putting her maybe on a hand like 7-8, pocket 7s, uh, maybe like a middling pair, like 9s, you know, 6s. So this is definitely a scare card for her. Um, it's a card that he can pretty credibly represent. And she's gonna have to. She's gonna have, and she snap folds. 